All right, now to our continued coverage of Saturday shooting outside of Nats Park. You've seen, no doubt, the video by now. Fans sprinting to safety. Gunshots were heard. There was loudspeaker comments urging people to stay and then to leave. Three people ultimately were injured outside of the park. One of them was a woman, a ball fan, just waiting for her Uber ride. Now, she's already out of the hospital, fortunately. Police say the other two injured were in a car involved in a shootout with another vehicle. Now, tonight we're hearing from D.C.'s top cop directly. Here's Matthew Torres. The police chief tells me the three people shot have already been released from the hospital. As the investigation continues into what happened, he admits more could be done to combat gun violence in our city. Andre's Under the guise of America's favorite pastime, what happened just outside Nats Park on Saturday night Eight has been four. a glimpse into America's present climate. Uh, I'm tired of the violence. It's, it's stupid. It's ridiculous. But it's not the first time this has happened in D.C. and it won't be the last. Time. The shooting outside the stadium that forced fans to scramble for safety and postpone the game has been nothing short of concerning and frustrating for commissioners. Actions, not words. It's great. We can all talk. I can talk. But until we start doing something, nothing's going to change. Hey, this is also not who we are. This is a small group of people that are causing these issues for the rest of us. An unknown dispute between two vehicles during the game turned into a shootout, injuring an innocent bystander simply waiting for her Uber ride and two people in one of the cars. It appears that the two individuals who were in the car were the target of the uh, of the, of the shooting. Uh, they have not been placed under arrest, but the investigation is ongoing. Police saying the two have been known to police in the past. Chief Robert Conti telling WUSA 9 the city needs a more comprehensive approach in how criminals, especially especially repeat offenders are held accountable. We can reform police. That's great. Community people can cooperate and call tips in. That's great. But if we're letting these people out of the back door and they're not being held accountable for their actions, I think that that's another issue that we really, really have to dig deep into. He describes it as a reset button, while others are hopeful this incident will bring about change. We're just trying to figure out what the solution is. Uh, there are people that do not need to have these guns in their hands, of course. They don't need to be on our streets. Others question if shedding this violent trend will actually be a part of America's future. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate to take something like this. If this is what it takes, I mean, fine, whatever, but hopefully it is, and hopefully that does light a fire among everybody. Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.